I am Ralph Michaels, and make sure you stay tuned to Better's Edge at the end of this video. I'm going to share a Chris Kleiman situation that has gone 17 and 4, 81% against the spread. I am Ralph Michaels, and I am walking you through the Gold Sheet Top 25. These top 25 teams are based on the summer power ratings that are available in the Gold Sheet Summer Guide. We start off every video with what the team's expectations are. Let's look at the odds. I'm recording this on July 18th. Kansas State is the number 17 team, and their national championship odds, 70 to 1. Their Big 12 title odds, them and Utah are the top two teams, plus 380. To make the college football playoffs, plus 250 for yes, minus 350 for no. Season win total, nine and a half, over plus 125, under minus 145. To go undefeated, yes is plus 750, no minus 1400. And Avery Johnson is 25 to one in the Heisman. Before we look at the 2024 team, Let's look at how K-State performed last year. Were their stats and records indicative of how they played? Well, they went 9-4 and four straight up, 9-4 and four against the spread, and 7-6 and six over under. Yards per play diff, they were number 59 at plus 0 0.28 yards per play. Yards per game on offense and defense, number 23 and number 59. Points per game. They didn't seem like an explosive team to me, but they actually were number 10 last year in points per game on offense. Their defense was number 27. They played a very tough schedule, number 12. When you break it down, their efficiency ranks, number 37 on offense, number 55 on defense. Now, when you break down Kansas State's schedule, they had five close games, and they went one and four in those games. They only had four losses, so they were very close to being a double-digit win season. Heck, even had a chance to be an undefeated season. All four losses were by a combined 21 points. In the Missouri game, it was tied at 7, tied at 17, tied at 27. Missouri kicks a field goal, 61 yards on the last play. Oklahoma State, they trailed 26-7. to seven. They were minus three turnovers. They did cut it to eight with nine minutes to go, but the last two possessions, they tossed an interception, and they were stopped on downs on their own 44 on their final drive. They lost to Texas in overtime. They trailed 17 to nothing in that game, but in the fourth quarter, they've got 12 and 32-yard touchdowns thanks to interceptions. They missed the 27-yard field goal, which would have won them the game. They made a 45-yarder to force overtime. In overtime, Texas kicked the field goal, and they lost. And against Kansas, they led 27-16 mid-third quarter. Kansas threw interceptions two of their last three dives to give them their one close win. And against Iowa State, they were tied at 28. They were tied at 35. Iowa State, an 82-yard TD pass with eight minutes left. Kansas State went 80 yards, 18 plays, first and 10 at the Iowa State 20 with 138 to go, but they were stopped on fourth and four and just fell short. Guys, before we get to the 2024 team, please take a second, hit that like button, and please do comment below. What information do you like? What information should we add? What information do you think is wasted? Do you think Kansas State will win the Big 12? Do you think it might be Utah? Do you think it might be Arizona? Please do comment below. We certainly appreciate it. Again, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV. Over 163,000 people already have, and you should be next. The 2024 Kansas State team will look at our conference cheat sheet to start. You see we have them power rated number 17. 13 returning starters. They're number 64 in returning production. Their quarterback, the quarterback is back, but he wasn't the starter because he was here, and they do need a new OC. Recruiting-wise, 
They were 58 in the country and 11 in the Big Ten. Now, I just want to point out, if you want to know why the SEC gets so much love, look at the SEC recruiting classes on one of those SEC videos. We're here. Colorado is number 22. That was the number one team in the Big 12. UCF, excuse me, Texas Tech was number 26. That was number two. So no team in the Big 12 top 20 recruiting. Kansas State with 13 returning starters. How does that fair compared to the last three years? Well, last year they had 13. The year before they had 14. The year before they had 16. So again, on par with last year, one less than two years ago. They lost three players in the draft this year, worth 10 points on my draft point system. Well, they lost three players for 12 points two years ago. And three years ago, they lost two players for two points. So again, on par with what they lost. They only have eight transfers this year. That's number 13 as far as the number is concerned in the Big 12. So let's look at the team real quick. Quarterback, Will Howard, of course, left before the bowl to transfer to Ohio State. He had 2,600 yards with a 24-10 ratio. Avery Johnson was a true freshman last year. He played in a few games. He started the bowl game. He has a 5-0 and uh, touchdown to interception ratio. They're high on him. We'll see how the young sophomore quarterback can handle the Big 12. They return their top running back. And while they lose their number two, they were a dynamic duo. I do like Edwards, the kid, the transfer in from Colorado. I think they're powerful. The running game will still be powerful. The receivers lose the top two, including a tight end that was a number two draft choice in the NFL. Decent, decent sized receivers, and I think they're still going to have some success. The O-line is one of their biggest issues. They lost three and a half starters, including two NFL draft choices. On defense, again, they returned eight starters, so you know they're going to be packed. Their defense returns their top three tacklers and six of their top eight tacklers. The D-line loses one starter. The linebacker only loses one part-time starter. The DBs lose one starter. Folks, this defense is good. The DBs, maybe top 10, maybe top five in the country. They are going to be a strong, strong unit. And again, they had to replace their OC. Colin Klein was here for two years. He got poached by Texas A&M. So they promoted longtime O-line coach Connor Riley as the OC. Again, it makes a big difference. If you have a new OC because he was good and someone hired him away from you, or if you have a new OC because you fired one, make sure you are separating which OCs are probably a likely step up and which ones may be a step down. As we look at their 2024 schedule, folks, last year they played a top 15 schedule. Right now their strength of schedule is number 50. A very weak schedule. Take a look. I have them projected to be favored in every game this year. Seven of those games are going to be a favorite of 12 or higher. The games in gray are those games between the eight points, between a touchdown dog and a touchdown favorite. At home, projected minus five points against Arizona seven points against Oklahoma State, and eight points against Kansas. On the road, projected four-point favorite at West Virginia and a one-point favorite at Iowa State. Let's take a look at their buys. They have a bye week before Colorado and Arizona State. Well, Colorado has a bye before their game as well, so that washes out. But against Arizona, late in the year, they have a bye when they host Arizona State on November 16th, Arizona State is off at Oklahoma State, back home against UCF, and then they travel to Kansas State. Certainly a scheduled spot to mark for the Wildcats. No other team has a bye before they play Kansas State besides that Colorado team. And when you look at the top teams in the Big 12, I have them ranked Kansas State, Utah, Arizona, Iowa State, Oklahoma State, TCU. Kansas State does not play Utah. They do not play TCU. 
They're home against Arizona. They're home against Oklahoma State. So the only road game they have against the top five teams in the conference is the game at Iowa State. And again, that's the last game of the season. So this young quarterback has all the time to progress or he'll be an experienced quarterback if he stays healthy. So Kansas State, again, I have him scheduled in every game to be a favorite. Guys, Gold Sheet, the finest football newsletter. Did you know the Football Hall of Fame game is only two weeks away? College football right around the corner. The Gold Sheet, save $30 with the code GS30. Head the Gold Sheet or head to Wager Talk. Use that coupon now. You'll get a weekly college football and NFL newsletter from week zero in August through the Super Bowl. Again, that code GS30. Kleiman's been here six years, and all he done, all he's done is print money. 40, 21, and 2 against the spread, 65.6%. At home, 24 and 10 against the spread, 70.6%. On the road, 13, 9, and 2 against the spread, 59.1%. And when he's been a big favorite of 17 points or more, he's got a perfect 8 and 0 against the spread. Keep an eye on that. As a big favorite of 17 or more, again, 8 and 0 against the spread. But when he has a total of 55 or more, they're a run team first, they're a defensive team, they don't make many mistakes. When Chris Kleiman is the coach and there's a total of 55 or higher, that means the other team has a good offense. K-State has done very well shutting them down. They are 17-4-1 against the spread. That is 81%, again, when they have a total of 55 or higher. And if they're a small fav- if they're a favorite or a small dog with those high totals as well, He's gone eight, two, and one against the spread and one and ten over under in those 11 games. I always like to give you one actionable piece of guttable information. And here we go. Kelly Stewart, you will not be mad at me. I am picking your Kansas State Jayhawks to win the Big 12. The conference championship odds, they are plus 380. Utah is a slight favorite at plus 320. Again, but we are picking the number two team as far as odds go because they are actually our higher rated, power rated team. We talked about who they play in the top four. Utah plays four of those top five. I do like Kansas State in this situation. I do like having their toughest road situations at the end of the year with the wrong quarterback. So I will call for the Kansas State Jayhawks at plus 380 to win the Big 12. If you missed any of the top 16 teams, check out the archives and make sure you look below to keep watching Wager Talks. Number 18 to number 25 power-rated teams courtesy of the Gold Sheet.